Hey, this is Digital Bike Computing. Today we're going to be talking about the differences between on-site and off-site backups. So every single business needs to have an adequate system in place to manage backups of your data. As a business, you cannot afford to lose data in some instances. In some instances, if you lose significant amounts of data, there could be a significant financial implication to your business. In worst case scenarios, if you don't have proper backups in place and you lose all of your systems and you cannot recover your systems, you could potentially go out of business. It's very important to have backups that are accurate, backups that are done regularly, and backups that are not only done on site, but also sent off site in case your on site infrastructure is destroyed or is unavailable due to a disaster. If they're on site, you've got a number of servers, a number of systems, and they're going to be backed up to some form of media. And that could be a combination of uh, another server with a lot of disk space. It could be a storage device such as a SAN or a NAS. Uh, it could be even external hard drives if you want to go down that method. Um, it could be tape libraries. Uh, you could have tapes such as LTO tapes, which are then routinely um, shuffled around. And they are then saved on site in premise within your organization or within your data center. If you lose that entire comms room, that entire server room or the data center is unavailable, um, then you've lost not only your production servers, but you've also lost the backup systems which are also residing in the same location. So what you do is additional to on-site backups, you also have off-site backups. These are backups that not only reside on site, but are also copied or moved to off-site locations. So if we use these, te these terms again, these technologies, if you're backing up to another server, this server could perhaps be at an alternate location. If you're backing up to a SAN or a NAS, you could be backing up to that, and then in turn that could be replicated to a alternate location. This, this server or NAS could then be backed up to another server NAS somewhere else. Uh, you could also then back up to tapes. So we mentioned LTO tapes. So you've got LTO 5, LTO 6, LTO 7 type of tapes, which have a certain amount of terabytes loaded on each tape. You then have the backups copied onto these tapes, and then these tapes go through like a weekly a daily or a weekly cycle where they are sent off-site to a third-party company and then you have the confidence that this data is off-site. The same deal, a lot of smaller businesses will have an external hard drive, they plug into a, to their server, data gets backed up to that and then it's somebody's, somebody's responsibility to take that hard drive off-site to make sure that the data is safe off-site if something on-premise happens. Uh, the other option is to, of course, save it onto the cloud. There are a lot of cloud-based backup solutions out there. We can have all of your backups running off to the cloud and they are essentially then a, a off-site, um, you know, they're, they're saved in an off-site location if they are on the cloud. Also have a plan in place so that you know how long you should be retaining this data for legal requirements, for auditing requirements, financial data needs to be retained for certain amounts of time, for tax purposes. So really determine your retention periods depending on the data that you've got and how long you need to be keeping this data. So there you go, that is my overview. I really do hope that you found this helpful. There's a lot of content to talk about and we could be talking about this for a very long time. But look, I'd love it if you commented below. Let me know your thoughts. I would also love it if you subscribe to my channel and uh, we will see you next time. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, Digital by Computing, just on the button there for more videos.